Just go along with it, and everything will be fine. Will it? Will it though? The promise of peace through compliance is a common tactic used by dominant personalities to manipulate cooperative people. They suggest that if you just agree, be the good girl, and let them take control, harmony will follow. Here is something I learned from Mistakes Were Made But Not By Me by Carol Tavris and Elliot Aronson. Compliance as a life strategy cannot bring peace. When a bully is allowed to bully, it doesn't lead to self-reflection or guilt on their part. Sorry to break this to you, but bullies are not going to suddenly have an epiphany that they are behaving badly and need to stop simply because you give them kindness. It's just not the way the world works. Instead, their brain's bias towards illusory superiority kicks in. They think, I'm a good person doing bad things, so the problem must be with you. Very rarely do bullies think, I'm a good person and I'm doing bad things, so I need to stop doing bad things to be a consistent person with high morals. Yeah, dream on. The bully mindset justifies their behavior, and rather than feeling remorse, they often end up respecting you less for your compliance. Each time you capitulate, it reinforces their belief that they're right to treat you poorly. It's a downward spiral where your concessions lead them to view you as weaker and their behavior becomes increasingly controlling. Your compliance does not bring harmony. It breeds contempt and a loss of respect for you. Compliance may seem like the path of least resistance, but it is a trap. True peace comes from mutual respect and understanding, not from one-sided domination. So stand up for yourself, set boundaries, and don't let anyone diminish your self-worth. Stay safe and follow for more research-backed tips on recognizing manipulation and control tactics.